So this week uh, I've been spending most of the time educating about our smart carb options um, but I know how important it is and um, how valuable it can be to understand the time and the place for those treats right and carbs that maybe are not included in the smart carb list and I think that's where most of us get caught up in um, our overall health and fitness so if our treats are too frequent or quantity becomes too much obviously we struggle with weight loss and overall health and that holds us back from reaching our goals um, I've also heard so many people say that they think that they're addicted to sugar once they have one they can't stop or they feel completely um, out of control when it comes to sugar and um, it can become really challenging uh, mentally and emotionally to have a good relationship with food that way if you feel like you are kind of like held captive um, by this food group, which when you say it sounds kind of crazy, but I know the feeling. I've been there um, and I can tell you that it just takes some practice and some unlearning actually about what you probably think about food already or maybe diets that you have done in the past that um, there are bad foods or foods that you should never eat so um, what does that look like in day-to-day -day healthy life so i mean every person is going to be different um, your activity level your ability to have one treat and leave the rest your reason for having those treats if it is an emotional response or a stress response that you're always turning to food that is obviously something that is goes a lot deeper than hey just make better choices because you're gonna be like well that sounds great but that's just not the way it works for me um so those things are things that we would want to look and talk deeper about which if that's you, please message me. I'd be happy to talk with you more about that. That is kind of my specialty area of expertise. Um, but for those of you who just know that like, hey, I just know I eat a little bit too much sugar and I need to do better with that. Okay, great, this is for you. So um, when is the right time and the right place to enjoy our sweets and treats and those things that maybe have more uh, preservatives or sugars added to it? So um, I kind of like to keep in the back of my head whenever I'm making choices about food, um, I ask myself, how is this going to make me feel tomorrow? So when you think of special occasions or birthday parties, or maybe you're going out for a nice date, if you think about the next day and you think about the choices that you're making, chances are you're probably gonna say like, man, I'm like, I really missed out and I really would have enjoyed to have, you know, enjoyed having a piece of cake or a, a glass of wine or whatever that thing might have been um, that literally is created to help us enjoy experiences more, right? That is the right time and the right place to have those things. If you are constantly restricting and constantly saying no, it's going to create this desire to binge when you finally do say yes, right? So it's kind of like that, um, uh, what's the word? <sighs> it's gone anyways <laughs> it's that mindset where you're not allowed to have something and so then you want all of it right we want to avoid that so i want you guys to think about um how you're going to plan and incorporate those times into your life now if you are a person who you walk into a room and there's candy on the counter or there's cookies and you mindlessly just grab them because they're there this is the time I really want you to be more mindful about the choices that you're making and think twice before you just go ahead and grab whatever is there, okay? Ask yourself, do I really need this? Am I actually going to sit down and enjoy this? Is there a purpose and meaning behind this treat or is it just going in my mouth because it's there, right? And oftentimes those become the habits that hold us back from the goals that we're trying to reach. So um, yeah, that is, I want you to take an honest look at your nutrition as a whole. Maybe you need to look at your workplace, your environment, how tempting it can become if they're always around you. I always say we only have a limited number of no's in a day and once you've used them up, it's really hard to continue to say no, even if you know it's not the right time or the place to be enjoying that treat. So that's kind of a long version of some things that I want you to think about. 
Um, we obviously have not made a rule against not having any sugar in this program um, because I don't really think that's helpful. I think it's really important for each person to learn for themselves how much is enough and how much is too much. Um, I know that this is something that people often need a little bit more help with, so if that's you, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to work through some of these things with you, give you some more tools or some more ideas about how to evaluate your own relationship with sugar and treats.